Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Louis Art. In this video, we'll be looking at, at improving the quality of your facial rigs when you're using shape keys and drivers. This video was inspired by a YouTuber called Yemi 3D. I think he's relatively new. So you can go ahead and check him out. He has a lot of cool videos, um, but I was kind of inspired. His kind of pattern was a bit fast. So I wanted to kind of slow it down a bit and present it to you guys. In this tutorial, um, like the title says, I will be showing you how to work with delta shapes. So what are delta shapes? Um, these are basically, you can look at it like in-betweens, between two shape keys. So let's just, let me give you a more practical example. With this character, I have two shape keys and I'll go ahead and name this um, up. Move this up and name this in. So the up shape keys basically make the side lip go up like a smile and then the in basically moves it in and I have set up a driver that when you move it up it goes up with the translation of this bone and if you move it back on the local Z, Z axis it moves in okay so when we come in contact with the two shape keys, it tends to produce weird shapes. So this is one of the downside of using or using a face uh, or using a fa uh, shape key based face rig, uh, because you kind of get this um, results when two shape keys kind of meet. So how would you fix that? So that's where the delta shape comes in. You create a third shape key that you would set and use to clean up the combination of two shape keys. Okay. And you can go into more advanced stuff where you can combine three, the combination of three, the combination of four. So that's what we'll be looking in this tutorial. So stay tuned at the ending, I'll be showing you guys a tool which I created that will make all of this easy. To create the shape, um, the delta shape key, we want to first try to pose it to see where the whole values are equals to one. Then we click on plus, so we can just call this delta. So this is our shape key and we can set it to one if we like. Next, we want to select the object and get the shape key data name that Blender uses to kind of encapsulate all the shape keys a particular object has. So for this mesh model, we can see if we um, unravel the, the this um, panel here we can see we have this shape key by default you could get something like shape key so let's see with an, a different object what you might see there so if we select this object and reveal it we can see we don't have much data in it because we're, we don't have any shape key but if we create a new shape key, we can see a new data is created and that shape key. So this data is going to encapsulate every shape key we're going to create and that's one way Blender can recognize it. So I, I kind of spend more time in it because it's quite, it's quite important to the whole process. Okay, so once you um, get this, you just want to take note of it. So you can call this shape key underscore get because I'm going to get it later. Um, now we can with this new driver with um, new shape key we've created we want to add a driver so we have this nice property menu uh, but we're going to do something more advanced so let's do open driver editor so I'm just going to delete that since we don't need it so we can see we have value for the delta shape key which we just created and here we're going to start working so first of all for the type you want to leave it on scripted expression and we're going to ignore the expression for now but we will focus our attention on the variables for the variables um, you want to click here and make sure you have it set to single properties and here for the object type for the single property we want to select key so the key basically means shape key so if you have multiple objects in your scene um, like I, we, we spend time talking about this it, different object has different um, basically database that encaps encapsulates all your shape keys so once you select the shape keys then you can be able to see all of that 
So we can recognize the shape key underscore get, which we named earlier. So that's what we want to select. And next, we'll have to import values for a part that um, Blender can use to get the information from. OK, so for the data part, which is this, we want to copy the data part of the two shape keys that we want to um, reference their translate their values from when they kind of get to a certain point. We want to be able to reference that. So for the first one is up, so we will right click here and select copy data part. And we come here and control V, it paste the data part. Okay. So we can go ahead and call this A for now. And next we want we can either copy and paste this data part which we created, we'll call this B. And we'll copy the data part for this and um, paste it here. So we have uh, we can see that we have the right one since the name is up and we can find name up here and in. Okay. So the, for the final stuff is the expression now. So the formula we're going to use is just A times B. And there you go. We can see the value is set to 1 now. And that means it's working. So that's basically uh, the whole trick. And now if you go in, we select this shape key and go into the sculpt mode and adjust it and fix um, the, the shape which is created by the combination of the up and in shape keys to something more desirable. It's going to remain like that. So whenever we get to that point, we'll be creating that shape. So this is this was the initial shape and this is the new shape. So that's the entire process. Uh, so like I mentioned, I created a tool out of this and I you can, the link for it will be in the description. So let's let's see how the two does it. Um, it's located here in the tool panel here. So we want to select the first shape key which we want. So if you have like up to three, uh, up to four, it can take up to five uh, apparently. So you can combine five different shape keys to create a new data um, delta. Um, shape key. So uh, for this instance, we just need two since we just have two that we'll like to work with. So I'm going to select in, have the object selected and create create new delta shape key. So for the name is going to combine the two names and you can basically go in and just clean it up. So everything is set for you, set up for you automatically and you don't have to do anything. Um, the topology of this, this model is messed up a bit, um, but yeah, so we've gotten it to work, and there you go. That's an easy, quick way of imagining stuff. So that will be it. Um, like I mentioned, the link for this tool is in the description. You can check it out on Gumroad. And yeah, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and see you next time. So bye-bye for now.